Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about how to find time in compound interest. To find time in compound interest, we are going to use the formula F equals P times the quantity of 1 plus I raised to M over M raised to M T, where F is the future value or the maturity value, P, that's the principal or the present value, I raised to M, that is the nominal rate of interest or the annual rate, M, that is the frequency of conversion, and T, that is the term or time in years. So this is the formula that we're going to use to find time in compound interest. So let's start and let's have an example. On our first example, Marta invests 50000 into an index annuity that's averaging 8.4% compounded semi-annually at this rate, how many years for her account to reach 1 million? So in this problem, we are looking for time. And to find the number of years, we are going to use the formula F equals P times the quantity of 1 plus I raised to M over M raised to m t where f that is a future value so we have 1 million principal that is 50,000 then nominal rate that is 8.4 percent or 0 0.084 then m in our given we have compounded semi-annually that means the frequency of conversion is 2. Now, let us substitute this given to the given formula. So future value is 1 million equals principal, that is 50,000, times the quantity of 1 plus nominal rate, that is 0 0.084, divided by m, that's 2, raised to m, that is 2, times then, let us simplify this one. Let us write 1 million equals 50,000. 1 plus 0 0.084 divided by 2. That is 0 0.042 raised to 2t. Then, let us add. Let us write 1 million equals 50,000. And then let us add 1 plus 0 0.042, that is 1.042, raised to 2, T. Then, let us divide the whole equation by 50,000. So let us cancel. Let us have 1.042, raised to 2, and then 1 million divided by 50,000, that's 20. To find the value of t, let us choose one of the properties of logarithm, that is log a raised to n. Log a raised to n, that is n log a. The exponent will be moved in front of the logarithm. So in our given, we have log 20 equals log 1.042 raised to 2t. So let us move 2t in front of the logarithm because 2t, that is the value of n. So we're going to have log 20 equals 2t times log 1.042. Then, let us divide the equation by 2 log 1.042. So let us cancel this one. We're going to have t, that's log 20 over 2 log 1.042. Now, what is log 20? Log 20, that is 1.30102996 over 2. 
what about log 1.042? Log 1.042, that is 0 0.0176. 8771896 You can type this one on your calculator to find the number of years but here I just want to show you the detailed solution on how to find the value of time so let us multiply this one so let us write 1.30102999 Divide by, let's multiply 2 by this number. So we're going to have 0 0.035735437933. And let us divide. So let us have 36.40727723 years. Or we can write our answer as T, that is 36.41 years. So this will be our answer. On example number two, how long will it take 1,000 to accumulate 1,300 if the interest is 12% compounded quarterly? So let us identify first the given to find the value of T. So future value, that is 1,300, principal, that is 1,000, nominal rate, that is 12%, or 0 0.12. Then the frequency of conversion, that is quarterly, that means M is 4. And we are looking for time. To find time, we are going to use the formula F equals P times the quantity of 1 plus I raised to M over M raised to M T. And let us substitute this given to the given formula. Future value that is 1,300. Principal that is 1,000 times the quantity of 1 plus nominal rate that is 0 0.12 over M that's 4 raised to M that's 4 times and then let us divide. So let us say write 1,300 equals 1,000 times the quantity of 1, 0 0.12 divided by 4, that is 0 0.03 raised to 4 t. And then let us add, let us have 1,300 equals 1,000, 1 plus 0 0.03, that is 1.03 raised to 4 and let us divide the whole equation by 1,000. Let us cancel this one. So we're going to have 1.03 raised to 4 t. Then 1,300 divided by 1,000, that is 1.3. Then to find the value of t, let us choose one of the properties of logarithm. That's log a raised to n, that is n log a. So let us have log 1.3 equals log 1.03 raised to 4t. The value of n, that is 4t. So we have log 1.3 equals 4 t times log 1.03 and let us divide the whole equation by 4 log 1.03 then let us cancel this one so we are going to have t equals log 1.3 divided by 4 log 1.03. You can type this one on your calculator, but I just want to show you the detailed solution to find the value of t. So log 1.3, that is 0 0.11394335323 over 4 
times log 1.03. Log 1.03, that is 0 0.12837224471. And then, let us rewrite this one. So we are going to have 0 0.11 39, 43, 35, 23, divide by 4. Let us multiply 4 by this number. We are going to have 0 0.051348874. And then let us divide. So T, that is 2.21900242. Or we can write our answer as T equals 2.22 years. So this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.